So I'm doing something very exciting this weekend. I'm in the car right now heading to Newport. I'm about to drive an hour and a half to Blaine's house because I'm doing my very first photo shoot today. <laughs> So obviously I've worked with brands in the past, but normally my extent of like working with a brand is me doing the content. So like I go take pictures and whatever. But this is my first like official brand photo shoot, like getting your hair and makeup done, all of that stuff. And I'm so excited. And then I'm also super excited because I get to do it with Blaine. And it's always more fun to do stuff like this when you have a friend with you and it's not just you. Um, we are shooting for a company today called Day Trip, which is essentially like a probiotic and CBD soda. They have gummies, wellness company, essentially. Um, and I felt like Blaine and I totally conjured this up in Costa Rica because we were talking literally verbatim saying, we wanna do like more day trips. Like we need to get connected with a brand that will take us on a bunch of day trips and literally the company that reached out was called day trip like what and um, they reached out to me and then my manager ended up managing this project and so Blaine joined in and yeah it's just gonna be really fun and the whole photo shoot today is basically us just like hanging out around Newport, like what to do in Newport, hanging out in Orange County. Now I'm driving, I probably should stop vlogging, um, to Newport, I have an hour and a half, so I'm gonna try to get there quickly, go to Blaine's house, and then from Blaine's house, we're gonna go to the Airbnb, where the team is staying, and start our weekend. After I leave Newport, I'm going to spend the weekend in LA with Allie and her boyfriend, Mario, because they just moved there, like, two weeks ago um, and I haven't seen them yet because I was home last weekend so I'm really excited it's gonna be a really fun weekend Allie already has like a lot of things planned for us let's go to Newport and then I'll update you guys from there this is Bella and Gigi Hadid <laughs> <laughs> made it to Newport day in the life of a supermodel <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here yeah. first you heard it here first we are in Newport. I made it to Blaine's house. I'm seeing her new room. It's so cute. It's a far cry from the beaches of Costa Rica. No, I come back to this place and I'm like, ah. it's, it's so, so cute. Okay, we're getting Blaine's stuff together and then we're gonna head to the photo shoot. The drive here was great. I just sang Taylor Swift the whole time. How long was the drive? Like an hour, 20. That's not great. bad. Yeah, it was great. All right. We'll update you guys when we get there. Bye! Alright! Alright! I don't know what my lighting's looking like right now. Probably insane. Um, but we just left our hair and makeup. Here's my little braid. My makeup look. And we came to get Blaine's convertible because I want to use it in some of the videos and her board. And now we're heading to our first location. Blaine? I'm feeling good right now. I'm trying to make sure we're uh, not gonna get killed. Wow, wait, smile, you look so cute sexy. right here with the... Ah! Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mmm, refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Alright, let's, let's give it a try. Red yeah. one. Chicken sauce. Lunch. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah. Right? Lunch spot. This is so beautiful. I've never <laughs> been here before. Alright, so we're leaving our third location. We went to Crystal Cove. Look at the bunny! <gasps> Cute. It's a bunny rabbit. And we kind of got kicked out of here. Like we were filming and we did get kicked out. They actually told us we were like ejected from like, the park. We were actually ejected from the park. Um, which is fine because yes, we got all the videos. Yes, do photo shoots. Yeah, you have to get like special permits, but whatever. So we're going to keep this day rolling. We're going back to the Airbnb and then we're going to go into, what's it called? The Peninsula in Newport and we're moving along. It's already 4.53. We're going on hour five. We're going on hour five. 
but honestly this has been such a fun day all we've done is roller skate or no skateboard drink little beverages laugh this is like my 50th get, CBT. Get lipstick put on us. Yeah, they just keep putting this lipstick on me. Yeah, and then they keep handing us beverages. And they like, keep okay. putting this pink lipstick on me. It's not my usual color. It's not my I, usual I, color, but it. they think it looks really good, so okay. that's fine. Okay. Anyways, I've had so many of these CBD drinks, but I'm so thirsty. I need to get my Stanley Cup. Because I feel like me and Blair just kind of in this like state of zen. Like yeah. CBD's in, we're like, really uh, I'm like, kick me out of the park. Whatever. We're kicked out, okay. You want us to skateboard? Fine. <laughs> skateboard downhill? Yeah. Cool. Great that for sure. That's a wrap of the day. That's a wrap. Good job, team. <laughs> First day trip shoot. Done. <laughs> Post photo shoot. Just mess. <laughs> eating, and then we're gonna go get some brewskis for our day. I'm so proud of this one. That was really good. It was a good. great day. What were your it's thoughts on the photo shoot? Um, I would love to just be a model. Like, yeah, we decided. I know I wasn't that, really born for that career, but we decided that being an influencer, too much work. Being too much work. So much easier. I mean, being an influencer, you have to edit, you have to post, you get yelled at by brands. Being a model, you just stand there. You just stand there. We literally, we literally drank twirl around 20 CBD drinks. Like me and Blaine, everyone kept saying like, you guys look stoned. We were like, My yeah. roommate came home and she was like, I was gonna ask if you guys were like really stoned. And I was like, <laughs> maybe we are. I don't even know. Guys, we literally found a trampoline in the it's, middle of the beach, except for- It's like one inch It's of not off the ground, so it's not so bouncy. It sucks, but it's still very beautiful. <laughs> it's very beautiful to lay on this Faux trampoline. Yeah. We went to the bar and we it I'm was bored. it was boring. So <laughs> we just found a trampoline. We ended up just beach. finding a trampoline, but um, I'm chilling with it. Blaine's going to Bali tomorrow, so I haven't even packed yet. I'm leaving for like three weeks. We're gonna like know. frog on this trampoline for a little bit more and then go home and pack because the bar was like not giving. Yeah. And I even wore my <laughs> "What if we kissed" shirt. For nothing. There was no one there to kiss. There is no one there to kiss. Anyways. Have fun in Bali. I love you. <laughs> Airport drop off I'm success. So Woo! All right, guys. Transition. I'm in LA with LA's newest resident, Ali Bridgers. Round of applause. Woo! -hoo. I got here a long time ago. I think the last time I vlogged was driving off Blaine at the airport. Um, LX was crazy and then I just drove straight here and we've basically just been having fun the whole day. Allie had a lunch friend meeting. She went to go meet a friend for lunch. Mario took me to get sushi. It was so good. And then we came back, met up with Allie. I got a blowout in my hair. The curls kind of fell, but it's like so nice to have clean hair. Um, I got a blowout and then we walked around Silver Lake, which is where their Airbnb is right now. And, um, then we rested. And now we're getting ready for dinner. Allie, what's the plan of the evening? Uh, we're gonna go to Soho House, West Hollywood for some cocktails. And then we're gonna go to Olivetta for dinner in West Hollywood. Yay! I'm really hoping I see a famous person. Let's make a bet on who we think you're gonna see. I like have a feeling I'm gonna see a Kardashian, but I know that's like a... Do you think that because we just watched the Kardashians? No, I like felt it earlier too. Which one would you wanna see? Definitely Kylie or Kim. I was going to say the same. Kim or Kylie. Kim or Kylie, yeah. I don't know. I just, anything can happen. Um, so yeah, we're going to get ready now. We'll check back in before dinner. I'm going to charge my camera. Bye. Okay. Here is my fit check. Rewearing my Willie Nelson birthday party outfit. Because it might get a little chilly. Here are my shoes. These are from Nordstrom Rack. Christy found them. Allie. Mario, <laughs> welcome to the vlog. You've never been on before. Never. Mario, his outfit, slay. I love those shoes. Oh, it is. When I'm in New York. Yep. It's so dope. I like that. I found it in North Rock. All right, let's head to dinner. Allie, see your fit. We'll do a house check later. Hey. Now we are officially on a self-imposed bar crawl. 
We're at this restaurant. It's a restaurant. We're, first we were at Soho House, but tell them how we couldn't have cameras. No photos allowed. No photos allowed, which really sucked. But now we're at, where are we? Olivetta. Yeah, this is our first, our second stop. So. I love you. Yeah. Wait, let me tell you guys this. I went on a date with this guy in Hawaii, right? I came to LA in April. I see him working at a restaurant, okay? We come here, he's also working here. Like, what are the odds? It's crazy. Anyways, cheers to our bar crawl. It's as big as my head. Because I know that I'm gonna get a tiramisu. So Stop number no two. Conversation what is this place called? Chaconis. 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 Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Actually, bar number three of our bar crawl. <laughs> Good morning, California. Allie and I are headed out this morning on a little bit of a hot girl walk. We're gonna walk from the Airbnb to the farmer's market and then to Air One to get a smoothie. Here's Allie's hot girl walk fit. One thing about us is that we like to walk. Erwan is one of the most interesting like social experiments I've ever seen. In my life. It is. I wish you would have thought of it because it's a great idea. We got a bunch of picnic stuff because we're going to a really fun movie tonight. What is the movie? Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Have you ever seen it? Is that where she's a prostitute? Oh, I really like, I haven't seen it one time. And so we got a picnic stuff, and now we're gonna go see a house. Ali and Mario are trying to find a house, and they're on the hunt. Alright, let's boogie. Let's bounce. Okay, in the car, heading to Malibu. This is my first time to ever go to Malibu, so I'm very excited. Also, just a little update our Air One smoothies made everyone feel really shitty, like, unwell. Feeling better now though. Lunch in Malibu, Mario ordered everything. <laughs> we ordered and then you ordered more. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. Post Beach. First beach day in Malibu. Very nice. Mario picked us up with shakes. King the best. We're going to see Pretty Woman at the Hollywood Cemetery. They do um, movies here in the summertime. Yay, so great. If anyone's ever seen Valentine's Day, which is one of our favorites. Cue. <laughs> Sunday morning and we're gonna do my makeup together for church while I tell you about the movie last night so we went to the Hollywood Forever Cemetery I don't know how much I actually vlogged um, I meant to take a video of the actual like movie but I think I got caught up having too much fun um, it was so cute it was such a fun event like just really adorable. They had concession stands. They had like a DJ before the movie. I love the movie Pretty Woman, so it was really, really fun. But anyways, today is Sunday and I'm getting ready to go to church. We're gonna go to a church called Mosaic in Hollywood. Um, and then after church, Mario got tickets to the Padres game. Oh my God, the Dodgers game, not in San Diego. Um, so we're going to go to the Dodgers game at like 1 and then I think I'm going to head back to San Diego around like 3 or 4 because I have not been home in a really long time. I went to Oxford 
last weekend and then was home for like two days and then left to go to Newport. So kind of in the mood of like, I need to go home and get my shit together and adjust back to my life. I have a really busy like next couple of weeks. I have like a lot of people coming to visit me. Um, one of our Hawaii friends is coming this weekend and then I'm going on a woman's retreat the following weekend in Palm Springs. And then the next weekend, my best friend Libby's coming. So a lot of people are visiting, but I'm really excited. Honestly, in the kind of person, like I get really kind of wigged out when I don't have things like on the calendar. Like I don't think I've ever gone uh, like a month since I graduated or like since maybe high school where I didn't have like a bunch of things planned. I'm looking forward to that. And then after Libby comes in September, we're going home for the Ole Miss LSU game and bring my California roommates, so that's gonna be fun. And then I'm going to Hawaii at the end of October, so I still wanna get like another trip planned in between um, September and October. And that's what I was working on yesterday. I really love coming to LA though, because every time I'm here, I have like such a different experience and it's so crazy because like, I've never come here and stayed in the same area. So like every time I come, I just am like, oh, this was so different than the last time. And like, oh, I really liked this. Or like, I didn't like this. And it's just interesting because it's like so big. I could maybe see myself living in LA for like a short period of time. Um, definitely not for like long term, but it is really fun because there's like so many things going on here. It makes like San Diego honestly look like a small town, but I love the beachy part of San Diego and how like easy it is to just get to the water and surf and that's kind of more my vibe, but I love coming here. I'm so happy Allie's here. I'm trying to think of what else I haven't really updated the vlog on in a while. I have not been doing a great job vlogging since I moved to San Diego. I did like my birthday vlog and then just have had so much going on in day to day. I'm gonna try this month to be better at vlogging my kind of like daily routine in San Diego because I haven't even made a video about that yet. I feel like it's easier for me to vlog when I go on a trip because I want to like rewatch it. Like I want to like look back on it and rewatch the memory of the trip. But I also need to remember to vlog like my day to day because living in Hawaii when I made those like day in my life, like week in my life videos, those are the videos that I love to watch. I know this isn't a makeup video, but I got the new Kylie Jenner's like focus. The Kai Lash that she came out with at Ulta the other day because I like overheard someone talking about how much they liked it. And I got like the little mini one to try. I think it's good, but it's just like not the best one. I always use better than sex mascara. And to me, that's just always the best. But I feel like different mascara like works differently on, on like different people. Um, a lot of people don't like the better than sex mascara and say that it like gets all over their eyes and like flakes off but I've never had that problem so maybe it's just like based on your eyelash type I don't know let's see what I have going on this week in San Diego so I have a lot of ads due this week that I have like not done yet so I'm gonna go home today and like finish filming two of them and then have them like put together and ready by tomorrow I don't know if you guys saw my TikTok like eight weeks ago about how I'm getting a tattoo removed. But in Hawaii, I got this tattoo of my birth year. It's right here, you guys have probably seen it. Um, and I knew as soon as I got it that I was gonna get it removed. So I started the removal process. It takes literally a year to get it removed and you have to do like up, I think it's like 10 sessions or something is what I thought it would take to get this removed and it's every eight weeks. So I have my second removal this week, which I'm really excited because I just want to keep the process going. Aside from my lipstick, that's pretty much all the makeup that I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot my white eyeliner. Now let's put my church outfit on and finish getting ready. Ripped up my earring, but here is my outfit for church. And now we're going to head out. So probably won't vlog at church. Not really the vibe, but 
Let's see. Crunchers. Crunch before the Dodgers game. Hi. <laughs> I'm having a vlog on my phone, so I have no storage. Hot as hell. <laughs> okay guys, once again, went to edit the vlog. There's no ending. Typical. But, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I know it was kind of random. I was having like camera storage issues, so I would want to record something and like have no storage, so I feel like it was like a little bit jumpy. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the process of us doing our photo shoot in Newport. That was so much fun. And my little trip to LA. I wanted to get this vlog out quickly because I want to be better about my YouTube grind. Um, I say that all the time, but we'll see. It's currently Wednesday night. I was in LA last weekend, but now I'm getting ready to go to a women's retreat in Palm Springs this weekend. I was thinking maybe I should vlog that. It's going to be a really cool experience and I feel like it'll be a cool vlog. Um, so I wanted to get this one edited and put out. Was this my strongest vlog? No. But were there cute, good memories within this vlog? Yes. And I always like to reflect and like watch back my vlogs um, after the time passes. I was literally just watching back like some of my old vlogs when I was looking at my YouTube to go to upload this when I realized I didn't have an ending and I just I watched my old videos from like this time last year or even a couple months ago like the video of me touring San Diego and it's just crazy how much has changed like how much I feel like I've changed as a person how much like things in my life have changed and like where I am now I love watching that like progression of growth and um yeah, I was just like in my feels watching my old vlogs. I know there's going to be a day where I watch this one and feel that way and like, ah, yeah. Thank you for watching this vlog. Thank you as always for being a part of my journey. Like just the fact that people watch this at all means a lot to me. And um, I love getting to share what I'm doing in my life with you. So as always, thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next videos, which will be more consistent. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.